Hey everybody, Josh Roberts back again from Recruitment Services. I'm here today with the man, the myth, the legend, Jamie Smith, the coordinator for fitness and health promotion, recreation and leisure services sport, and occupational therapy and physiotherapy assistant programs. Jamie, how are you doing today? Uh, good, Josh. Thanks for uh, thanks for having me. I'm excited to talk about uh, the programs and opportunities that uh, you know we can provide our students. Absolutely, and we're we're happy to have you here. And before we sort of dive into those programs, I know you're you're a busy man, obviously coordinating more than one program. Why don't you tell us a little about yourself and your professional background? I've got a range of experiences in uh, fitness, recreation, and also in uh, exercise rehabilitation. So uh, I, I started my career working as a strength and conditioning coach, helping athletes to attain their fitness goals and ultimately uh, reach their goals in, in various sports that they may, uh, may be competing in. I've also got experience working in corporate fitness, personal training. Uh, I've worked as a group fitness instructor. Uh, I've also worked in exercise rehabilitation uh, in various uh, physiotherapy offices and also have a range of experience in uh, recreation, uh, running you know, various uh, camps for kids uh, and youth. So, you know, those are some of my experiences that uh, I bring to the program. A really great history there in the, in the industry that, that you teach in now and you coordinate for. So, Jamie, why don't you tell us a, a little bit about the programs that you coordinate? I'll start with the Fitness and Health Promotion Program. So that program is really designed for uh, students who, you know, love helping other people. They love to be active. They want to get out and, uh, you know, really cut their teeth in the industry in terms of helping other people attain their fitness and wellness goals. So uh, the fitness and health promotion program is designed for that, for students who really enjoy being active and, uh, and want to help people. Uh, not unlike our recreation program, which uh, is also designed for students to uh, develop the skills necessary to be able to program uh, various activities, uh, like I said, in programs for a wide range of populations, whether that's youth, uh, the general population, perhaps older adults. And uh, our occupational and physiotherapy assistant program is much the same. It's for students who, who want to help others uh, perhaps regain their mobility and uh, physical function in an occupational uh, therapy or physiotherapy setting, working under uh, an occupational uh, therapist or a physiotherapist. So all of our programs uh, are, are intertwined in, uh, to some degree. Uh, and, and they're all really designed for students who, uh, who like being active and, uh, and want to help other people. Yeah, absolutely. Three programs really, really tailored to those who like to stay active and like to be active members of their community and help others out, like you said. Uh, now, I just wanted to, to ask you a question. Since you said the programs are intertwined, is there, is there any commonalities in the program in the first year? Yeah, great question. Uh, so our first year program is a combination of fitness, recreation, and some occupational and physiotherapy uh, students. Uh, all fitness and recreation students take the, a common first year. So all the courses are the same. And there are some courses that also involve the occupational and physiotherapy assistant students. Uh, those being, uh, for example, the English comms course, uh, human development and sport, and uh, anatomy and physiology, which you can imagine sort of correlate uh, to all three uh, domains. So yeah, there, there are some commonalities within the program, and I think that really lends to uh, an increased student experience because you get to rub sh uh, shoulders with students uh, in other programs, which is not always the case with, uh, with many programs, especially in the big colleges. Yeah, definitely. It's a great opportunity to sort of test the waters and see how you feel about something and even maybe uh, take a direct pathway to, a, to two diplomas in, in a couple of years, which is great. So all these programs are, are very valuable and, and obviously very hands-on. So how do your students learn? Our, our students don't like uh, sitting in a classroom and being lectured to. That's not what our program's about. Our program is really about the hands-on nature, uh, active learning, uh, getting students involved in the learning and not just uh, lecturing to them, but really uh, making the classes hands-on. Almost every um, class has a lab component. So students might be in class for two hours doing hands-on learning to attain the knowledge, 
but then they also apply that knowledge in lab classes. So that's really a, a strength of our program is, uh, is the active hands-on nature of the program. Uh, we're also very lucky because our students uh, have the opportunity to learn in dedicated spaces. So we have a specific area for our OTA PTA students, occupational and physiotherapy assistant students, our own dedicated uh, lab, as well as our own lab for fitness and recreation. In addition to that, uh, we have our own um, student learning classroom. So uh, it's only our students in that space uh, and no other students in the college uh, uh, can use that space. So, so we really pride ourselves in, uh, in having those dedicated spaces for students to learn, which I think optimizes uh, the student experience and, and learning experience. They all have natural light as well, which is uh, a bonus. Yeah, great to have those, those windows in there, help the, the brain flow a little bit better. Jamie, I always hear about your students talking about their placement opportunities and how great they are. Do you, do you want to share a little bit about the placement opportunities in your programs? Again, a big component to uh, the college programs uh, here at Loyalist and specifically our programs is the, uh, is the community experience that students get. Uh, first off, in the OTA PTA program, our students attain over 500 hours of community clinical uh, placement experience. So, whether that's in long term care facilities, uh, private clinics, uh, hospital settings, students uh, in first year attain over 125 hours in the community. And then in second year, they do a two four week block placements, both. 160 hours. So essentially full-time work for four weeks, which really helps students uh, network, make those connections, and ultimately find uh, full-time work at the end of their uh, college experience, which is the goal of, uh, of, of coming to Loyalists is to find work at the end. Uh, in our recreation and, and fitness programs, it's uh, very much the same. Students acquire 320 hours of community a placement experience, two four-week blocks, both 160 hours. So in fitness and recreation students, uh, they might find placement experiences in recreation centers, maybe outdoor facilities, uh, certainly private fitness studios, perhaps the military. So again, there's a wide range of experiences that uh, students can uh, get involved in. And students have uh, an ability to uh, to, to choose some of those placement experiences. So we don't just tell them, you know, you have to go to placement A or placement B. They have a lot of input in terms of where they uh, want to acquire uh, their placement uh, hours. So we work with students and help them uh, along that path and, uh, and facilitate a placement experience that's uh, really fitting for them and, uh, and what they want to get out of the program. Definitely. I've heard quite a bit about the personalized experience that your students get to have when they go out on placement. They, like you said, they don't have to be in one specific area. It's sort of tailored to them and, and what they're interested in. Now, talking about placement, I know a lot of your graduates are very successful. There's a high rate of employment out of these programs. Can you share some of these unique success stories? Yeah, of course. So uh, without getting into names and specifics, I think just more generally, uh, you know, we have students who are currently uh, working in long-term care facilities who have just recently graduated from the OTA PTA program. Uh, we've got students who've graduated from the fitness program in the past who are uh, running and operating their own fitness studios. So they become uh, owners and entrepreneurs and, and really help support uh, community needs and uh, help clients enhance their overall fitness and wellness goals, which is which is excellent. And uh, on the recreation side, we've had a number of graduates who are working in some of our uh, community uh, recreation centers, uh, like the Quinney Sport and Wellness Center. So leading and operating uh, programs for uh, a wide variety of uh, populations. So those are some of the uh, experiences, certainly not limited to those things, but some of the uh, career paths that our students take. And you know, it really all comes down to helping uh, people become more active. So it's such a rewarding way to spend your day. And often you're surrounded by individuals who are motivated and, and want to get better and want to improve and ultimately uh, change their lives for the better. So it's, uh, 
for those again who, who like working with people and like being active, I think it's uh, such a great career choice uh, for those students. Thank you so much for coming out and sharing some information about the, all the programs you coordinate. Like I said, you're a very busy man and, and you do a phenomenal job uh, teaching and coordinating those programs. So thanks again for coming out and talking with us. Great. Thanks for your uh, time, Josh. And uh, uh, just for students out there, uh, you know, all the best with your decision uh, about post-secondary education moving forward. And uh, uh, I hope everyone's doing well at home with uh, uh, the situation that's unfolding in COVID-19. So all the best, everyone. And uh, please don't hesitate to contact us if you uh, have any questions about our programs. Absolutely. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. And again, thank you, Jamie, for joining us.